YouTube, it's Jess. I haven't made a video in a while. Actually, that's a lie. I've made thousands. Well, that's another lie. I've made a ton of videos. I just have felt like none of them have been worth um, uploading. I'm going to upload this one, though, for sure now. So <laughs> I'm applauding myself for actually taking a step and... Um, sorry, adjusting camera. Like, um, taking a step and posting something again. Anyways, um, so I just want to say basically what's going on, you know, for myself. So when I look back, I can say, okay, so this is where I was on January 6, 2012 at 5.35 a.m. Um, I got rid of three of my turtles. I had five, um, Godric, uh, Salazar, Rowena, Helga, and Hagrid, all Harry Potter names for those of you who don't know. Um, I got rid of Helga, Hagrid, and Rowena, and I kept two of my turtles, which are currently um, uh, soaking in vitamin cream in my sink. So I will show them to you right now. This one's looking at me like I'm crazy, so I think he wants to come say hello. Anyways, this is Salazar. I had to keep him. He's my baby. He's I've had him, like, he was the first turtle I had. I'm obsessed with him. He has the cutest little face. Oh, he's like, look at this face. Look at it. Look at it. Dude, talk, talk. Talk, Salazar. He's not really talking right now. He's really big. You can see he's like size of my hand big. And then I had to cut. Oh, oh, tickles. I had to keep one last one, which is um, I don't remember. Oh, I got him from my friend's pool. We found him in there. She lives pretty close to a lake. Um, and I decided to take him home. So I think he was actually the third turtle I got, but he was definitely one of my favorites. Um, he is way different than Salazar. He has a cooler design. And this is his design. This is his, oh, little baby. This is his face. He's a cute face. And he is definitely smaller. <laughs> He's not even as big as my hand. Um, they're, like I said, they're soaking in vitamin cream right now, like for their uh, shelves to stay hard and whatnot. And I'm gonna put them back outside when I find a enough money to buy here because it is freezing for everyone who's living in Florida who knows that. Anyways, uh, other things that have happened lately, I have dyed my hair. Um, really, I just added color underneath. I, I'm always changing things. I don't really like to keep it the same. I find things quite boring after a while. So, yeah, um, I got my CTFXC shirt. For all you guys who don't know who they are, check them out. I'll put their channel below. My hands are still red from the dye. See, and branded. Um, my birthday was on January first. I got to go to a nice dinner with my best friend, my best friends, uh, Ryan and Lisa, and another close friend, Pete. We went out to Olive Garden, and that was my first time going there. So that was a lot of fun too. They have really good food. I was a total fatty and ate a bunch. But yeah, so that's what I did for my birthday. I'm gonna have a small get together on the seventh, which is tomorrow. Oh, I gotta call people. <laughs> Um, my brother went back, um, uh, to his job and he's in the Marines. He's currently stationed in Japan right now, which I know that is hard for a lot of people and we miss him. And I know my best friend misses him who, uh, who's dating him and has been for the last year and a half. And then the last thing as, uh, of interest, uh, to future self is I got another tattoo. It was sort of spur of the moment. Um, I'm 18. I want to go do something that I can legally do now. But it's definitely an idea, an idea that's been resonating with me for the last three years. Um, it's a triquetra, and I'm going to try to show it to you, but I'm using my laptop camera, so it's going to be a little weird, and if I don't get the angle right, it looks off because it's a symbol, and a lot of symbols that are like mine, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second, or it's like circular and triangular. When you put it in different angles, it looks off, but when you're in the right, like how it's supposed to be angle, it's dead on. So I'm going to move you down. For a second. I don't know if you can see it. I showed you my Harry Potter one too. I'm going to put pictures of those below too. So you can get a better idea of what they look like. And yeah, um, Harry Potter tattoo is described in my tattoo and piercings video. The Triquetra... 
um, is a symbol that means many different things. Christians, pagans, a bunch of different religions have adopted it as a symbol to use. I know my friend has it in her youth group, and I know a lot of Wiccans who use it um, <clears throat> as well. It can mean uh, many different things. The ones that I tend to resonate with are um, mind, body, and spirit, which I believe are like the three essential things that you need to accomplish anything. You know, they work together. And um, also, I've been writing um, a series of books since freshman year. I'm currently a senior. And um, it's about three girls. One in the first book, she controls things with her mind. The second book, she controls things um, with her body. And the third book, she um, she's an empath. So, you know, spiritual, yeah. Um, and they're, one's called mind, the second one's called body, the third one's called spirit, which the triquetra also means, people use it to mean mind, body, and spirit. And it also means, um, uh, like three things working together. Now, I'm probably going to get comments of people, oh my god, it's like charmed. I am a charmed fan, but I adopted the symbol way before even getting into the series. Um, it, they, they don't own it. <laughs> the three girls aren't sisters. They're not witches. They're it's a completely different storyline. So don't be all like, oh my god, oh my god, charm triquetra. No, um, it's been around a lot longer than charmed has, and it it was the perfect symbol that um that I needed to express what the the story is about. So I'm gonna put that on the cover of my book. So I'm gonna hand draw something of a triquetra, and um, yeah, you know it. Hopefully, you'll see my name in the future, Jessica Jostock. Keep an eye out uh, for novels. And, um, yeah, so, you know, any questions, leave them below. Hope you enjoyed my absolutely boring hair tattoo experience. Bye-bye.